G'day Internet and welcome back to another video. So just yesterday I was rummaging around one of my normal little haunts looking for vintage computer gear and I came across something a little bit different. Well, different for me. And that's this guy right here. Now, no, that's not just a briefcase. There's something a little bit more interesting than that inside it. So let's check it out. So this is actually a National SG725, which is, if I open up the case, a gorgeous little portable record player and radio. Now, I have absolutely no idea if this works. Um, if I have a look in the battery compartment, the foam has completely had it and it's full of moisture, rust and ooh, God knows what else and corrosion on the terminals. So I do know that it takes a 6 volt or a 9 volt power supply. Let me just double check that. A 9 volt AC power supply. Um, but the thing is, I don't know whether it's center or positive center, negative or positive center. So um, I'm going to grab, I'm going to try and clean up these terminals and try and work out which one is ground uh, and then hopefully work out that from the pin. We should now be able to make some kind of contact. I know the rear one is negative and that one's positive in the battery compartment. And I'm going to assume that at least the positive is linked. All right, we have nothing there. What about on the outside? Okay, so I think we have positive center. So now I need to find a jack that's the right size for my power supply. All right, that feels right. And we want, uh, what did I say? Positive center. So let me just check this to make sure this is the right way around. Uh, positive center. Helps I turn this onto DC. Positive center. Positive center. Right. So, um, let's turn Ah, that seems to be the on switch. Okay. Power. A bit of crackling. It's on phono. Let's put it onto what I think is medium wave. You don't seem to have anything. That's phono. Righto, let's, well that spins, it's very noisy, and the actual platen isn't very flat. Does that come off? Okay, so that's just a rubber thing that does come off. Is the rest of it fairly flat though? 
Yep, the rest of it's fairly flat. Um, so let's let me grab a let me just grab a record, I guess. Um, preferably one I don't care too much about. Right, we have 1982 with a bullet. With a massive scratch on it already, so that's okay. Uh, that side looks marginally better. Now, with this, I believe I need to turn it that way. And if we turn it on, now I don't have anything. What am I doing that's silly? Right. Okay. Okay, so whatever drives the motor, it seems to be enough to... That's enough to stop it. So that's not great. Okay, the whole thing needs to be pulled apart anyway, so I think we start with, I should probably turn that so I don't damage the needle. How about we start by simply pulling the whole thing apart? All right, that's it. There's the antenna. Oh, what does the sticker say? Ah, oh, it's all the specs and a circuit diagram. Cool. Right now, let's get that out of the way and see carefully. Really don't like the way that flops around, but anyway. Um, Okay. Now I think these, oh look, these actually come out. Let's just get you out of the way. That needle is currently tucked away, that's good. Okay. Funky. Uh, that's the I'm guessing the antenna. That looks like it should be mounted. That's extendable. That looks like it should be somewhere more than just... Oh, there's that there. There's that there. I'm guessing that's where it poked out and I actually unscrewed it when I pulled the bottom screws out. So... Um, I'd really like to be able to get this um, stylus off so it's not banging around. But right now I don't think I have too much of a choice. At least it's folded away. Um, so it's not belt driven, I don't think. It seems to be the motors directly on it. I guess you would call that direct drive. Um, it's actually fairly clean in here. I wonder if that power supply doesn't have enough amperage to run this. I wonder if that's all it is. Let's... Hang on a sec. Before we go digging 
too much further. So that's an, this is another one I've got. This is a 9 volt 3 amp and I'm currently using a 9 volt 1.5 amp. I wonder, let's pull you out of the way and put you on here. Oh, there's a chance that's already correct. It's actually already correct. Right. Let's plug you in. Let's just test it to make sure I've got the polarity right. Again, what did I say? Positive center. Nine volts. That's spinning the wrong way. That just occurred to me. That's spinning the wrong way. Did I get my polarity completely wrong? Um, which way does a record player spin? Record player spins clockwise. This is spinning anti-clockwise. Hang on. if I turn the needle on. Haha! <laughs> it works! I got the polarity wrong! Righto. Before I get a copyright claim. Ah. Uh, there you go. I'm an idiot. Uh, right, so let's take that out of the way. We still really need to give this thing a thorough clean. All right, so the whole thing is going to have to come apart. Um, so let's, there's a few things that are going to need desoldering, like the speakers. So let's heat up the soldering iron. Let's get the power out of the way. How did I manage to screw that up so royally? Anyway. Um, now, that looks like a fancy version of a circlip. So let me get some pliers. And we're now left with the outer case, which can now finally be washed. Righto, so headed to the bathtub is this. I, this whole thing I think I'm just going to soak in vinegar holders boulders because it's a mess. Um, these I'll pull the covers off and I'll wash the covers. The rest of them seem to be okay. Um, the actual case that it came in, um, I'll hit the inside with the vacuum cleaner just to get rid of some of the dust off the felt and give it a wipe over as well. So let me run off to the bathtub and give everything a tub uh, and I'll be back. Well, with everything now clean, 
it's time to kind of put it back together. So the only other things I did was um, this got, look, that's as clean as I could honestly get it. Um, the uh, battery terminals were so bad they ended up actually going under the um, the brush wheel on my bench grinder. Uh, same with the, um, the spring ones. Um, these, which are the brackets that go onto here, were actually so bad the screws had to be drilled out um, and I found some replacement screws. The only thing left to do now is to put it all back together. Um, wish me luck. go. 
I actually think it turned out pretty well, especially considering I had no idea what I was getting myself into and quite clearly had no idea what I was doing either. And I'm sure the comments will reflect that. But it's all working now. Um, it sounds terrible, but I'm pretty sure that's the way it sounded even when it was brand new. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, next time I uh, go down to take the dogs down to the park, take Angus and Winston down to the park, I'll be able to go full hipster now on the uh, park bench. Um, so that should be nice. Anyway, if you liked it, click like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff, and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next video.